everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day. So today is a bit of a new video for me. I wanted to try something new. I've actually wanted to do this for a long time but didn't really know how I could do it. You may know that I've been renovating my home for the last year or last couple of years and I just love interior design. I'm not an expert, I'm not a professional but I love it. It's, such, it's been a passion of mine since I was young and obviously I can't redecorate my house all the time even though we have some projects hopefully coming up I wanted to be able to still make creative um, interior design videos without it always being for a room in my house if that makes sense so that's where the idea of mood boards came in and designing my viewers homes so I asked over on Instagram if you would like me to create a mood board for a room in your home maybe you didn't have a clue how to decorate and design it um, and I got such an amazing response I literally had hundreds of people reply um, and it honestly I was shocked it took me so long to go through them all um, but I loved it so I did ask for a, a small brief so for example um, the room size what the functionality of the room needs to be who the rooms for colors you like styles you like budget that kind of thing um, and some people got back to me with some great in-depth info like some people sent me pictures of the room some people sent me floor plans oh, I love a floor plan so much so it was like it was like Christmas for me I loved it so anyway um yeah I I realized that some of you that follow me on YouTube may not be following me on Instagram so I just wanted to give you a bit of background as to what this was if you want to follow me on Instagram here is my Instagram handle and if you've just come over from Instagram or you're new then I would love you to click the subscribe button as well it's completely free and it means you'll be updated whenever I make videos just like this one so first of all Jules got in touch with me to say they are having a garage conversion done and they want to make that into a playroom for their child and they've also just had another little baby so congratulations it's so exciting. Jules said she was very inspired by Elliot's bedroom I have a makeover of that if you don't know what it looks like so she also sent me some ideas of what she liked and of the floor plan which she said I can share with you guys um, so that really helps me in working out where things can go and the kind of things that could go in the room so drum roll please this is the mood board which I'm going to talk you through now. So excuse me if you see me looking to the side because I have my mood board on my laptop. So this is very much inspired by the colours and the um, patterns that I really went for in Elliot's room. I could tell we, we really like the same kind of things in that sense. So over on the right you can kind of see that I've gone for a bit of... Um, a cool funky color palette so the colors here are um, green blue by Farron Ball and also India yellow by Farron Ball um, but you can get these colors mixed up at the decorating center or um, Valspar mix them as well I've heard they're really good quality paint so I've picked Farron Ball colors for this just because they have such amazing colors but you don't always have to spend out Farron Ball paint prices to get a very similar colour. But also from Jules Pictures I could see that she really liked polka dots and she really liked a feature wall. I actually found these sprinkle wall decals which I thought looked really really cool. They're from Etsy um, and they just add something different. We have um, more like Dalmatian spots on Elliot's room which you can also get from Etsy but I like the sprinkles. They're a bit bigger, they're really inexpensive, they're easy to put up, you don't have to worry about painting on black circles or lines or anything, you don't even need to touch a paintbrush and they're really easy to take off the wall if in a few years you know your child wants something different or you change your mind. So Jules and her family are having a window put in where the garage door is and now I'm not exactly Exactly sure how much there is on either side of that window but what I think would be an amazing idea is to create bookshelves either side of the window if there was some space and in the middle create a seating bench with storage and a cushion on the top because it would make a really lovely reading nook to be able to just you know sit in the window and read as your kids get older and they could have lots of books and toys on the windowsill and there's a really easy way to hack this so basically the Kallax units which again I've got in this picture I've got the eight cube one and um, you can get also long thin four cube ones which could also be hacked into a bench in the middle you could get this made by a carpenter to fit bespoke um, or even if you didn't want to do it around the window you could do it on the wall opposite the sofa um, which I think would look really nice and Ikea have some great storage boxes that go into these Kallax units 
which you can get rattan ones which I think would look really nice with the style of light shade that I've chosen um, and just would work really well with the room in general. Also, Jules told me that they have already bought a yellow tub chair. She sent me a picture. I'm not exactly sure where her one's from, but this one looks almost identical and was from Dunelm, I believe. I've linked all of the links to every mood board um, product below if you want to go and check it out, um, categorised by room. So it's all on there for you to go and have a look at if one of the rooms you're like, that's perfect for me. I really love this tub chair, it's a really fun colour and it'd be great to add in some cool cushions like this mountain one that I've picked out um, or even just the pops of the blue green sort of colour or some polka dot cushions to bring all of that in on the sofa and make it really cosy and snuggly. Jules also sent me a picture of one of these lion um, wall art pieces. We've got actually a lion head in Elliot's room so I love the kind of felt animal heads they don't look quite as um freaky as a taxidermy animal does it's just a really cute take on it and um, but i like this one a lot this is a crochet lion's head from etsy which i found it wasn't too expensive i found some on other websites which are beautiful but they're a lot of money this one however is quite small but would look nice on a wall maybe even a gallery wall with the print that again jules has already chosen she's got the wonderful print from my dorsey which we have in elliot's room and it's great it's really good to tie in all of those colors so not only the like the yellows and the minty blues but also like touches of pink navy gray it's a really versatile print that allows you to add in loads of different colors and tones so i've also put on there um a pom-pom garland a felt garland in a very similar color tone which again will bring those in together um, this bean bag, which I am desperate for for Elliot's room, I've had my eye on it for a while. It's from Great Little Trading Company, and it's a zigzag bean bag, which would just look so cool to add a little bit more seating in there. And kids love a bean bag. And then finally, a couple more bits. I have this Let's Play wire sign. You can get these wire signs made in any wording you want to so you could have a quote but i think let's play is really fun and lovely for a playroom and then finally i think in there if you were going to go down the route of having the storage with the calax units um but you wanted somewhere to actually display books then the picture shelves or the picture ledges from ikea are perfect for this so i think um three or four rows of the long I can't think what they are, but I've linked them below. The pitch ledges from Ikea with all of your kids' favourite books on would be so cool. We've done this in Archie's room when he was young, Elliot's room now, and it encourages them to read because they can see their books all the time. And it almost is an artistic feature on its own. Um, and on the shelf just here I've put some of the Little People Big Dreams books because these come in loads of fun colours but the books are absolutely incredible as well. They're just so such great stories of inspirational people that I think are amazing for little ones to read. So we've got David Attenborough, Coco Chanel and Muhammad Ali. Um, so that's kind of like the mood board in a nutshell. There's so much more that I could incorporate into that but... I've realised I've rambled quite long and that's just one room. So that's my first mood board. Let me know what you think of it. I love it. I think it's great for a boy or a girl. It's quite unisex and it's really fun. Okay, so next I have an office design for Charlie. She has again taken pictures of the room for me and sent me a floor plan which was perfect. Um, it's a very awkward shaped room with a large chimney breast in the small space. Um, but I think because she wants to use it as an office, it will still work really well, give her loads of functionality and be a good space. Um, so I'm just gonna call my mood board up. This one I literally love so much and I wanna change my office to this. <laughs> Basically, Charlie said she likes dark colours, she's not afraid to go for dark navies, teals, burnt oranges, but she would also love um, a baby pink office chair, but she didn't want her room to be too girly. So I feel like I've kind of stuck to the brief quite well. So let's dive into this one. First of all, I've gone for Hague Blue, which is a really deep blue from Farrenball. Again, you can get it mixed up anywhere. Um, and it's just a gorgeous colour. Now, this is a really small room, so immediately you might think, don't paint it a dark colour, but I think you could kind of work with it and just paint the whole room 
in Hague Blue, even the skirting boards. So um, Charlie is going to strip the carpet up and she's got really nice original wooden floors which I think will look perfect with this. And what I really like about this room is it has the alcoves and instead of putting the desk in one of the alcoves I think it would be nice to make a feature of it and put it on the chimney breast. Um, so in the alcoves I found these absolutely beautiful um, bookshelf and sideboard like um, range, I think they're from Oak Furniture Land and I just fell in love with them. I think they look so cool with the um, like chevron placement of the wood. Um, so these would be great storage. Then I've also tried to look for a desk which is in keeping but it's still quite small because obviously you don't want to take up too much room on the chimney breast. So that could go on the chimney breast, um, it could have a really nice art piece above it or you could go for a mirror above it. In more, I've got some like art deco style pieces in here which are from H&M. They have some incredible bits at the moment and I think the gold accents would look perfect with the colours and the dark wood. It would really stand out out um so this pink chair is like the chair of dreams obviously it's a it's a higher end chair um but it's the look is just absolutely perfect for the room it's got that dark wood it's got a beautiful shape to it it's got the blush pink velvet on the top and it's got a linen bit around the bottom so if you wanted to invest in a absolutely stunning chair then I think this could be the one to go for. But if you Google pink velvet chair, there are so many more affordable options that would also work in the room. Um, and what I think would be really nice is if this stayed on the right hand corner under the window when you're not working, so it didn't take up the whole bulk of the middle of the room and then you can put it at the desk when you are working um, so when you walk into the room it just looks nice and it looks styled and it doesn't look cluttered and obviously you can fill those shelves to your heart's content with plants and ornaments and books and everything like that and then finally a couple more pieces um, these prints are from Etsy. Etsy have some amazing prints and this is a set of three which I think are actually printables so you could go and have those printed out really cheaply um, and then put them into some dark wood frames and then this light as well. It has that really cool almost art deco look to it and I feel like all of this ties in really really nicely. Um, so yeah, again, let me know what you think of mood board number two. I really hope you like it Charlie and I love it personally. <laughs> okay, mood ball number three I'm really nervous about because I feel like I've stuck to the brief but maybe it's not what Alex wanted but Alex has been so lovely she has again sent me photos and floor plans and she left me this message to share with you guys. Hi Kate, my name's Alex and I'm about to complete on my first home with my boyfriend Jamie. The flat's been newly redecorated, um, but we'd really like some ideas as to how to furnish our living room. Um, we both are fans of modern minimalist interior design, but other than that, we're happy with whatever advice you could provide. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sending that in, Alex. I got like a bit tear. I was like, this is so much fun. Um, so as Alex said, they're moving into this gorgeous new place. Um, the room is just so light and airy and just such a great blank canvas but they want to keep it minimal and modern so this is the mood board that I have chosen for them um, so she said maybe a pop of colour but she does like the neutral tones so I felt like adding in this quite neutral colour but almost like burnt orange would look really nice and homely because there's such a fine line between a new home looking cool minimal and then like empty not cozy minimal so I've tried to add some coziness in with different textures so let's have a look so the one thing Alex said they definitely want is a corner sofa and I don't blame them it will look fantastic in that room so I've gone for this sort of it's almost like a greyish colour it's like a grey beige with a footstool which they could pull up and just snuggle and watch tv um, but they could also use that as a bit of a coffee table too I've included a coffee table though I thought this one was really nice it's got that round shape to it which just makes things look that little bit more cosy and softens all the harsh lines um, and I really like that some of the furniture um, this, the console table and the rattan chair and the bookcase have all got those black metal accents on them so it kind of brings it all together. I think a side table would look really nice behind the sofa um, with a vase on with some plants in it. Again, maybe you could go for some pampers 
or some eucalyptus, something like that. And then prints along the back wall, I've picked out these Decenio prints. They come in really large sizes, so you'd only need like two or three to really make an impact on that wall. And again, I've gone for ones with some nice like texture to them, and they bring in that black, those beigey neutral tones, and also some like, um, again, like burnt orange colors. So I feel like they would go really nicely together. I love this chair, which is, um, one that I found online but they've got a really nice window so I think it'd be nice to just add a little bit more seating in there and some of the cushions like the burnt orange or the um, black and cream one would look really nice on the rattan chair just with a throw laid over it it would look lovely yeah. again they have these alcoves with this lovely chimney breast they have a built-in fireplace which i think could look really nice with some logs in or if they eventually wanted to take that out then i think one of those ultra modern um fires electric fires where you can just see like the flames coming up almost looks like a tv screen would look really really cool and above that, I think they really wanted their TV. I know they have quite a good budget for this room. It is a big room. Um, so I think one of the Samsung picture frame TVs could look amazing above the fireplace. And then in the alcoves, some nice built-in shelving. Or the shelves that I put on the mood board with the black metal accents either side would look really nice. Styled up again with ornaments, books and some of their favourite things. I think because the room has wooden floors underneath the corner sofa is just going to scream out for a rug so you're going to need a pretty large one i found this amazing natural looking one um, on wayfair it has a black trim all around the outside again i just think this would tie it all in and make it look incredible you could go for whatever color sofa you wanted you could go for a neutral tone you could go for a dark gray you could go for like a beigey grey like I've gone for. Um, there's so many different options. Um, I just hope that's given you a little bit of inspiration. I know you've got spotlights so you don't need an actual light but maybe a cool lamp would look good in here. I could literally do like two or three mood boards for this room because it's a pretty big space. Um, but yeah, I love the way this is looking and I think that would be a really good direction to take the room. So this next one isn't for anyone in particular and that's because I, are, I got asked for this kind of room on quite a few occasions so I thought the best thing to do would be to take the most commonly asked for room concept and design it basically so that anyone could adapt it to the room and that is a little girl's room that's kind of a bit inspired by Elliot's room again and um, but I wanted to Put a little different twist on it some people were saying they have a nursery for their daughter and they're getting that bit older so they want to make them a more grown-up bedroom i can hear earlier um and then some people said they have a shared girls room so they want to make it like suitable for both um so yeah this is my fourth and final mood board of the video here it is I absolutely love this design and whilst it doesn't just have to be for girls I do think it is more on the girly side if I had a little girl I'd do, my, do her room like this tomorrow I found this incredible wall mural on I think it's called Muriel's Wallpapers or something like that I've always looked on their website because they have some great ones um, but I just loved, I loved this so much the colours in it remind me of Elliot's bedroom but like a pastel version of it um, so there's different uh, mustards, pinks, pal soft blues, mints in there and this would just look great as one big feature wall with the bed in front of it I think. Um, so obviously I've gone for a house bed with storage. This one's a bit more expensive than Elliot's. We got Elliot's on eBay and we just didn't have a good um, experience of it. I don't even, couldn't even find that one. Um, but any house frame bed would just work perfectly for this. Then I've just incorporated some gorgeous soft furnishings. So these cushions I found, I can't remember the name of the website, but again, I've linked it all below. They are slightly more on the expensive side, but I just think that they would last for ages and just be a real focal piece in the room. Um, so I've gone for one of these canopies, which again, would look lovely over the bed, but if you had space for it, I think it would be beautiful to create another little reading nook with it. So you could have this in the corner, again with a bookshelf showing your child's favorite books um, and then these cushions could go in there or they could go on the bed you could get a really nice maybe even a polka dot floor cushion to go into the canopy and then I found this absolutely adorable little swan by Jellycat. Jellycat is my favorite like soft toy 
brand for babies and children and this one is gorgeous she's got a gold crown gold shoes and a tutu so i think she would need to be in the room design um then also this rainbow cushion from h&m h&m have a gorgeous rainbow um little collection of things including bedding which i think would be really nice too but i've gone for this polka dot bedding because i feel like it just breaks up the colors a little bit and it just adds in a little bit of pink and um, this is also from h&m and i just think that would look perfect on the bed and would go really well with the warm mural i found a really cool mint chest of drawers which i think again would just break up that pink color and add in that bit of mint and I, I really like the idea of the natural woods of the bed and then you could do the rattan mirror above it so it just makes the room a little bit more grown up for a little girl that's not a baby anymore to have a mirror in her room and then her favourite trinkets on top of the um, chest of drawers and then finally um, I've got this print from Monks and Me which I've got I've got one of these for Elliot it's basically identical but it has a greeny blue E on it so obviously you can get them in whatever letter you want but this pink is beautiful and again it just adds that polka dot touch back into it which I've got in Elliot's room and I think you could bring that into it more like with a floor cushion a bed cushion I just you know I do love polka dot so yeah that is my girls bedroom theme again let me know what you think so there you go i've got a feeling this video in my head i thought it was going to be 10 minutes long and it's going to be so much longer than that i really don't know what you're going to think of this at all you might literally be like kate all of those designs were awful um but please go easy on me it is my first time at doing this let me know if you did like them which was your favorite in the comments below give me any feedback let me know if you want me to design a mood board for you in the future um oh i'm so sorry i could ramble on and on but i just found that so much fun so if you haven't already subscribed and you want to the button is just down there and give the video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and i will see you again in my next video thanks for watching guys bye <laughs>